All right, G fam. Big G here at it again. Y'all remember this guy? Yeah. Well, I hope so because he's the star of my best video so far. 80 some thousand plus views. Thanks to you good folks out there. Anywho, this is a video about when I go to file a complaint. And I actually had someone contact me that is actually a friend or acquainted with these troopers um, in various ways. And uh, he told me to go to a specific one. And so I did. And here's the results. So what you guys think? Hey, is there a trooper Willis that I can speak with? First Sergeant Willis. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any reason why you need to record me? Uh, I always record for prosperity. Okay. What you need? Uh, to file a complaint on a trooper. Okay. Who you want to file a complaint on? Uh, I've got his name written down. I'm not sure what it is right offhand. Is an officer Willis here available? I'm here. You're talking to him. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't see. Oh, so. I gotta grab the phone. I'm the only one here. Hold on. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, I was actually told to come to seek you because you were one of the good guys. Okay. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, well, I had an incident where uh, I was driving through Gate City and I saw one of your troopers um, pulling over a man. So I stopped to film because that's one of the things I do. Okay. I'm a, a, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't want to call it a cop watcher because I think that, that some people give that people a a bad stigma, okay. but I just stopped to observe it because I think everybody should, just for both sides' sake, you know, for prosperity, like I was saying. Okay. Uh, while I was observing this, uh, when the traffic stop was over, I asked the officer for his name. He refused to give me his name to identify himself. But you were not the subject of the traffic stop? No, I was not, okay. but he did okay. talk to me okay. first, so, you know, he did confront me first. And then while when the he confronted you first, he you did. Know? Well, when I was on the scene, he rolled down his window and he, you know, and say he asked talked to me. Away. Yes, okay, he just asked me to back up, and I did. Okay, I gave him plenty of room. I said I was probably 30, 40 feet away from the stop. Okay, um, until it was over, mm -hmm. and then I approached him just to ask him for his identification. And while I was actually talking to the uh, subjects that he pulled over, uh, he went to proceed to go solicit a trespass from the property owner that in the parking lot that we were in. Which I know that's not actually against a law, but it's just not. They had already seen all of us there and they did not approach us. They did not say anything to anybody. He went directly, all drove all the way across the parking lot just to purposely solicit a trespass. Okay. And he just had a piss poor attitude. I mean, he just had a piss poor attitude. It just wasn't very becoming of one of your officers, I didn't think. So, okay, you had very little interaction with him. Number one, you weren't the subject of the traffic stop. True. And the owner of the funeral home asked. So I, I'm guessing that you know what I'm talking about then. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And the owner of the funeral home asked them, the deputy and the trooper, to ask you to leave, which they did, and you did. I did. So what's the complaint? Well, I mean, he didn't come to him to ask him. They specifically went to him to get them to tell me to leave. Because that's the only thing he could do. That's the only way for him to get any kind of retaliation against me. Okay, the deputy was already speaking with the people at the funeral home when the trooper walked up. 
Was they, I don't, Did he ask the deputy to have it? No, I don't. I was. I didn't personally so witness we don't it. Know who I, asked I, who and, to leave. and I will correct myself. So we don't yeah, know I'm, that's what. Ask who to leave. If that, they ask you to yeah, leave. Yeah, let me correct leave. myself on that. Okay. I don't know which officer approached them first. Okay. I, I'm not going to say it was him specifically. I will correct myself on that because I wasn't up there and I didn't witness that. Mm -hmm. But I do know that I've had callers and some of my viewers actually call the funeral home. And they were told that they're not even supposed to be pulling people over in their parking lot. That you all were made of, aware of that I at one point. No, I don't know anything well, I'm just telling you what my viewers said. Okay, I'll, and it I'll, was I'll, one of I'll your. Contact you. What's the name of the funeral home? I really don't know, honestly. Okay. I'll find because they didn't even give me any kind of paperwork or make it anything legal. He just said, they told me, which, if I'm not mistaken, according to Virginia state law, actually, isn't it the property owner that's supposed to tell me that in, in front of an officer? An officer can ask, they can ask an officer to ask you leave. It's not necessary that the property owner do that. So uh, then. Because there's a safety issue if they don't feel comfortable telling you that. Well, I mean, they can they ask, just keep they a distance ask, and they, do they that? They can ask the officer to ask you to leave, which right. he did and you did. Uh, so. uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, but I'm just saying they just, he, he, I don't think they were going to tell me to leave until he went and that. One of them did. I, I don't know. I'll call him. I have okay. I don't know what? who it was. Uh, at the funeral home that's right. okay. and I've been made aware that he's had several complaints on him do you all have body cams no we don't. you don't have body cams car cams dash cams mm -hmm. I'd like to foil you the dash cam from that incident as well okay and here's the name or here's the the time and the incident and there's my that's email right. address that's that okay. you can I don't need it to okay all. all of our FOIA requests are done through an online system through Richmond right and if you have the date uh, if you have the date of the incident, well, you already have that. Yeah. Uh, you'll need to submit the FOIA request through this website right here. It's called bsp.nextrequest.gov. And there's the trooper's name, and you can request it with that date and that uh Oh, okay. In that time, okay. All right. Uh, okay. I'll request a few things here then. Well, I've I've also had a viewer that it's actually uh, another officer um, that said that it's, is this a reoccurring issue with an attitude with this trooper? That would be a personnel matter that I'm not going to discuss. Uh, well, I'll pull his personnel file. I'll look for complaints okay. and all that anyway. So, you well, can go through them right there right. to get anything you need. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Well, I guess that's about all right. <laughs> yeah. Looks like this is going to be fruitless. I thought I, yeah, I was told you were going to be one of the good guys. I am one of the good guys. Yeah, it sounds I'm like it. Uh, soliciting trespass is not a good complaint. Okay. And his attitude, if you've seen the video, all right. Day, yes, sir. sir. You're one of the good ones, sir. Absolutely. What a motherfucker. Well, G fans, what did you think about that? Did you think he was really interested and was really taking this complaint serious? Or did you just think he was trying to appease me the best that he could? Because he looked kind of bored to me. And then when he made that comment at the end, I thought he might take it seriously. And then he made that comment about it not being a sound complaint. Now, yeah. go fuck yourself. So, to the guy out there that I talked to, I hope this changes your mind. You said you were a borderline blue, blue liner. Well, what do you think now? This is the man that you told me was the good cop. He didn't seem too good to me. All right, G fans. You know what to do. Help me out. Help us out. Regress. Redress. But till next time, y'all know, it's Big G. Keep straight.